All right, guys, you guys heard on the previous video, the Boulder 2150 monoblock with the stock power cord that it comes with, as well as the Opus, transparent Opus generation five power cord. Okay. And this video is going to be basically about my thoughts, uh, about what I heard. And I hope that you guys voted on the poll that I had and that we can you can see the results as far as what you prefer in terms of the presentation. So let's go over my thoughts, okay? This video is going to be a quick video about my thoughts. So with, with stock power cords, this is what I found with stock power cords. There was laser sharp focus and imaging, extreme instrument separation, gobs, just gobs of detail, micro dynamics become macro dynamics. The detail of the micro dynamics become so apparent that now they become macro. They're easy to hear. You don't have to be fishing for them um, in the presentation. There is obviously unforgiving neutrality and resolution. I can hear actually the digital sound signature of the DCS Rossini through the stock power cords. There is obvious race car speed and drive. The decays are shorter with the stock power cords because I think the amplifiers move at a faster speed. Mind boggling clarity. Almost never, ever, ever heard this level of clarity with any amplifier I have owned. And mind you, the Mephisto is a rival, the rival of the Boulder. Uh, but the clarity with the stock power cords on the Boulder, it really is, really is impressive. Really seriously impressive. I can tell you it's extremely, extremely impressive. It's also easier to tell the difference in volume and sound stage size between each, each song with this type of... Uh, with the stock power cord i feel like the stock power cord does a better job at rendering the just the volume level every every time i change a song essentially the volume went from moderate to loud to low without me touching the volume on the remote control it was just easier um to hear the differences so like i said with the stock power cord you can definitely hear almost like dissect think of it as having a measuring device you can pinpoint the precision of of everything that's happening the the, the speed uh, the pace the rhythm everything the stock power cord does a better job in my opinion than the transparent opus at that now when it comes to the transparent opus here's my takeaway definitely more musicality so it adds a level of romanticism uh, it adds a level of um soul to the presentation um, it makes things not become uh, very very just about resolution it's also less less a lot less ruthless and more forgiving it retains the same separation that is heard with the stock power cords i would say it's about the same separation the detail is really there but it doesn't shoot out of the speakers with the same precision as it does with stock power cords so the detail like i said it's all there um, but it doesn't really force itself out of the speaker. It also helps take away the digital signature of the Rossini, the DCS Rossini. As I mentioned, the decays, because the, the pace is slower, the decays become longer. Definitely the presentation slows down and the bass might be, I think might be just about the same, if not maybe a tad deeper. Uh, and then the last one I have is there is less energy to, uh, to the presentation. You don't feel like the presentation is really, really as in your face. It takes a couple of steps back. It comes at you with a little more, um, not aggressiveness. That's not the word. It just comes at you a little more um, relaxed. Now, overall, the transparent power cords add a musical touch to the presentation by calming thing, basically calming down the presentation. Um, this is actually a really, really welcome effect. If you're using a lot of digital streaming, if you're streaming a lot of music, I think it's a great add on to the Boulder amplifiers um, because I think the presentation becomes easier to listen to for longer periods of time. 
And the problem that I find with the transparent Opus Generation 5 power cords is that you lose the le you lose the sheer transparency. You lose the ability to really detect the, the smallest changes in your system. Um, that does not mean they don't pick up changes. They do, but I don't think the cables do the same job as the stock power cords. I do believe the stock power cords are, when you're trying to measure what you're doing, when you're, for instance, you want to change the fuse on the DCS Rossini and you want to know if that, that fuse actually makes a difference, I would do it with the stock power cords on the boulders. Uh, I think that it, I, you'll hear the change much easier. If you're going to change an XLR, I would do it with the stock power cords on the boulder. The smallest changes, if you're going to put cable lifters, same thing, stock power goes on the boulders. I just feel like that is the, the, the ruler, the measuring device if, to really gauge how much of an improvement things um, received from changing the smallest component or tweak, okay? Um, would I spend the money on these power cords? I would say yes. I would say I would spend the money if you are a person that's looking to take away some of the the fast feeling of the boulder and add a lot more musicality yes i think this power cord is going to be a great addition i would say probably even for the boulder 2160 or any other boulder amplifier i'm willing to say that this power cord would allow you to hear um more music out of your music collection um, but if you're a person that you feel like you're a magical lover, a ma magical speaker lover, right? You love magical, you love uh, nothing but the facts, I would say stick to the stock power cords. Um, and I'm going to close it, close this video out with basically saying that I have never, ever, ever, ever owned a component that I can actually say, wow, stock power cords are just unbelievable with the component. I have never, ever had a component that can do that. This is the very first time in my life where I have heard a component sing this good with stock power cords. Um, I would not, if you buy boulder, this boulder level of gear, uh, yeah, you can change power cords. But I would say, guys, power stock power cords will be extremely, extremely well, extremely good as well. So don't kill yourself thinking you want to change out power cords on the boulder gear. I think boulder is doing amazing things out there. I think they're the inside of the amplifiers and preamplifiers are doing all the work already. Uh, and the power cords really have minimal effects. Um, but again, if you are a person that likes to have a little more soul and musicality and you don't want to be bothered with too much of the truth with what you're listening to, then by all means, yes by the transparent generation five opus power cords okay anyway guys i hope you guys enjoy this short video thank you for following me and please continue to subscribe until the next one take care